Hey guys, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And after a lot of preparation, a lot of tutorials, and a little bit of playing hide and go seek, it's just about time to set sail on the Maelstrom and see what adventures lie ahead. So let's get to it. Wheeling out the Maelstrom for this, Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat? What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha! What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna fanboy too hard, but I'm just saying that girl's voice actress does her, does her job good. Just throwing that out there. But before you go off sailing, here's a... T okay, I... There's a lot of tutorials, but there's a lot to the game, so I understand why these are here. But you can sell items and all rest. You can trade treasure to get a lot of stuff. Recommend you do that. And if you sell items off as a whole set together, you earn a lot more money. So it's better than selling one thing at a time. That's a pretty important thing to pick up from this specific one. You find precious treasure, just don't sell them at a regular shop. You can bring it back here and get a lot of profit, among other places. But hey, uh, Sprain, we're good to go. Never thought I'd see the day be run the Maelstrom, Rex. So it just goes to show how far you've come in a salvager, eh? Well, I'm proud of you, lad. Now are we all set? We're set and sail as soon as you're ready to board. I won't keep you waiting, all right? Let's get to it. That's what I like to hear! Come on, then. Hop on. We're heading into uncharted territory for this job. You know, getting goose pimples just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, dude. Let's do it. It's a nice little opening shot of the Maelstrom. I don't know. I like it and oh, I love this music so much. I'm gonna talk about the music a lot, okay? It's just my thing, I'm sorry. And we should be reaching the Uncharted Zone tomorrow. There's plenty of time until then. Guess I could go and talk with the clients for a bit. Still don't know how much about them as I like to. Besides, it's not every day you get to talk to real drivers. Well, once I'm done with them, better go see Ma now. Mm, I'm to be on lookout duty tonight. I'll be very pleased if I never show up, yeah. Technically working, bro, you should probably get to that, but uh... This ship is pretty cool. I like the whole, you know, just... There's water, like, dripping. It's not the strongest ship in the Cloud Sea, but it'll get us where we need to go, and yeah, the... The clouds are actually a sea. I guess, it's kind of strange. I haven't shown it off yet, but you can actually swim in the clouds. It's pretty cool, I'll make sure to do that soon, but uh... Yeah, let's just get to know some of the drivers and stuff. Hello, Nia. Seem awfully quiet. Did you get seasick or something? Of course I'm not seasick. I'm just... I'm used to ships with this many salvages on it, that's all. Well, if it's wearing you out now, you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. <laughs> I can handle myself a wreck. God dang it. Okay, sorry I was concerned about you. I like this guy, though. He's a lot more polite. Master X, are you prepared to begin salvaging? Let us all work well together to make the mission a success. I have it any other way. Yeah. See, they make a good pair, though. I don't know. I like these two, but, uh, there's the other driver, though. The crud that he- oh. It's Papoonin. <laughs> What's up with you, man? Papoonin, what are you doing here? Meme? Uh, Papoonin is, uh, taking vacation. Just going on a little pleasure trip. Hmm. That's a little suspicious. Yeah. Why is he so focused on this dude? I don't know. God, I gotta say, he looks really cool, though. Hi there. Hmm. 
You're from Lutheria, are you? Uh, sure am. Raised in Fawnset Village. The village is right by the Cloud Sea. So I grew up swimming in the clouds. That's why salvaging work comes naturally to me. Pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Huh. Very good. But really, that's it? Alright, not, not the uh, most talkative guy in the world, I guess, but... Can't say I'm surprised. There's also this guy down here. What up, Sprain? How's it going? Rex! It's time to eat, drink, and be merry! It'll be a while until we reach our destination. Get yourself rested and ready to face the trials ahead. That's the salvagers. I don't know if I'm allowed to drink. I'm like, how old is Rex, huh? I'd absolutely love to, but I got guard duty. Ah, that's too bad. We'll make sure you're guard like no one's ever guarded before. Even mindless tasks like that are part of life's little lessons. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you should, you should keep an eye on this. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Talking to the minor characters is always kind of fun for me, but uh, we do have to head up and actually do our guard duty. I like that though. We have a lot of responsibilities and uh, yeah, these two. Hello there. What do you want, kid? I'm called Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing you're not gonna fill me in on what exactly it is we're looking for out there. Uh, that's the idea. Needed no basis. Why well, are you curious? Well, sure am. But I'll do the work I'm paid for, whether you tell me or not. Mm. That's what I like to hear, kid. Just hope your skills are more advanced than your age. I mean, I'm still Rex, not kid. God dang. It. Yeah, this guy's not the nicest fellow in the world. And this is his uh, blade. Not gonna lie. Pretty cool looking in. <laughs> Evading Malos' attack. Well, you're not even a driver. That's impressive, boy. So he calls me kid, you call me boy. What the? I look forward to seeing how you handle work ahead. Is that a compliment? Uh, thanks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are not too friendly, but, uh. Hey, at least the giant tiger's pretty cool. I like him, but, yeah. Right up here is the, uh, very top of the maelstrom. And where we're supposed to report to. Hey, bro. Time to take my shift. So you finally arrived, have you? Well, you're here to keep watch, no, aren't you? Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was talking to people. Oh, last, I can get a breather. I think I earned myself a drink or two. I'm not looking too good out there. Might steer yourself for the worst. Something's up. Give me a shout. Don't worry, I won't be drinking myself into a stupor or anything. Oh, the, thanks for the heads up, man. Appreciate it. Hmm. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Mia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager, then. Why's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one, too. That's the salvager's code. Pfft, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed though there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid? Elysium? Don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh... Why you're a salvager? It's just a lie for children. 
And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel, report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. Here we go. The real thing's about to start. We're almost there. Papuni, what are you doing sneaking around the place? Come on! Meh meh? Uh, never rex mind that, Papoonin. What happened to salvage your chairman? Expect results! Don't worry, I'll be working very hard, especially when there's a hundred grand on the... Come on! That's the spirit. Now quick, hurry downstairs and head to rendezvous point! Alright, you got it. Seems like things are about to get started. It's time to get a salvaging. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so... We'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying you low lives a lot, so don't screw it up! You smug so-and-so. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this?
Whoa, that's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams, proceed inside when ready. Right then. Let's get moving. You with us. Me? You're gonna drag the kid along. Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there. You've got your orders, haven't you? So... For some reason, these really powerful drivers need us to accompany them inside this giant ship. And holy, cr I love Xenoblade just for the scope in which they do things. Like the Maelstrom was big, and it looks like a shrimp compared to this thing. I don't know. I like that. But uh, before we move on from this screen, there's something very interesting I like to point out. If you're a fan of the Final Fantasy series and a lot of Square Enix games. These two guys might seem kind of familiar to you. That's all I'll say right now, but I wonder if there's any other guest artists making their debut in this game. But <laughs> Enough of alluding to things that aren't going to happen for a bit. For right now, let's talk about characters and changing the order of our party around. So in Xenoblade, parties are composed of three people, and the first person in your party will be controlled by you, and the others will be controlled by the AI, but you can play as every character, and I absolutely love that, but we'll check that out in a bit. For right now, though, we gotta check this ship out. Whoa. Let me show you what a giant that can do. Heck yeah! Here we go! We get a fight with a full party! And two of these guys are blade users- oh my- It's so stinking cool, guys. There's just something inherently awesome about, like, you know, a strong dude in the front, and then there's a dude in the back, like, powering him up. Sometimes the dude's a lion. Anyways, against this giant crab king, we're gonna use some of our positional attacks. Sword Bash gets bonus damage if we do it from the back. As for double spinning edge, if we attack from the side, it's oh, God. This damage will get amplified. Holy crud, Rex! You all right there, man? God. Amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight. So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical, it was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats! Let's move! Kuh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> <laughs> They make short work of Monster. There's no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well, too. There's much money to be made from these people. <laughs> Jeez, Malos is just the uh, biggest bundle of sunshine in the world. God dang, this guy's just not... 
Nice. Oh well, though, but uh, before we proceed onward, we actually haven't seen one specific character in action too much, so I'm going to change the order around a little bit. Now, we can't currently play as anyone but Rex, but I kind of want to show off what this dude can do, because, I don't know, he doesn't even use a blade, he's like Rex. They're kind of similar, actually, but now we've taken care of that, it's time to dive straight into the first dungeon of the game. And here's where we're going to learn how to lure enemies. Basically, press the D-pad button down. You're going to throw a little rock that does exactly one damage, no matter what, to get a foe to come near you. you got to be careful, though, because, well, they can get the jump on you and you won't be prepared. But this is better than taking on a giant herd of enemies all at once. It's usually referred to as pulling in other, like, RPGs, but basically, okay. that's the best way to go challenge. about certain encounters in this game. And speaking of encounters, we're gonna have uh, a lot of them in this episode. Though, yeah, with this Malos and Jin combo, I don't know if they're gonna last too long, but eh, isn't that kind of the point? But I'm gonna try and go over some of the arts that Rex has learned. And oh, snap. I think these ones aren't hostile. I guess we'll find out, but... I'm also going to try and go over some of the treasure chests. I'm not going to spend all day on it, but I mean, money's money. And at the beginning of the game, you need all you can get. But I'm not going to be grinding on screen, just on gravel. That's just not how I like to make videos. Just kind of how I do things, you know? Underwrite. I hope you understand. But here we are in the mid-deck, and... Oh, yeah, there's another trap. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the blade just fell down. That did not look, uh... Too uh, pleasant, but man, there's just something about this like music and just the idea of this deep excavation in this ship, kind of like a Titanic sort of deal. It's just cool and peaceful. This music actually reminds me a lot of Etrian Odyssey, which is a really cool other franchise. But if we come down here to the hold number one, there's gonna be a lot more enemies. So we gotta bait out this uh, bubble meadows and then take them out. But uh. Just a word of warning, nothing in this, like, little segment is going to be hard at all. Like, these drivers are just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, sure, we're all the same level, but they have almost double the HP. So that should just tell you something right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna not step on that. God dang it! Well, this is not good. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Okay, I totally did that on purpose, but... Yeah, here's a lot of enemies, and uh, Rex is about to die. This is not good at all, so we gotta try and like burn through all these enemies before Rex gets knocked out, because if your leader gets KO'd in a fight, everyone's dead, and you have to restart the battle and go back to the last landmark, and we definitely do not want that, but we made it out okay. But there's a treasure chest! I need to get the chest. There's actually a couple of key items, not literal key items like in other RPGs, but... There's a couple items I kind of want to grab, and this is one of them, and if we can land right here. God dang it. Second tries the charm, and we landed it. Nice. So, inside of this Your chest is going to be, hopefully, something good, and it is an accessory. This accessory is, yeah, another muscle band. We already have that one, but still. <laughs> why would you not want multiple of something so useful, right? But, uh, yeah, we're just, like, walking around here trying to figure out our whereabouts. In this giant ship and hopefully not do any more damage to the ecosystem than we already have inside this admittedly pretty cool place. This should be the one. Okay, inside of this chest, and this should be, yeah, the attack stone. So this is actually a new equipment that we can give to Rex. And this is going to enhance his auto attacks, which in the very beginning, very useful. Bonus HP, sure, not bad, but since I'm making videos here and I want things to kind of go by quickly, an attack stone's gonna do the job. And we don't really have to worry about enemies really attacking us because, well, Malos just does so much damage. The enemy's obviously gonna see him as the highest threat and go for him instantly. And I think, yeah, there's another chest right over here, but hopefully this enemy. Okay. Nope. Looks like we gotta do battle no matter what. Crud, this is gonna get a little dicey, but I talked about this before with the guy upstairs. Let's get a little recap in Xenoblade. It is always beneficial for you if your art has a bonus. You should try and use it. You saw there, Anchor Shot doesn't have a bonus. No matter where I use that art, it's not going to get stronger. But where there are other ones, they get crazy strong. I'm not saying in every single battle is it going to be possible to get... Oh, that was just it? Wow, that was over pretty fast. But not in every single fight is it going to be possible to get your positional attacks off. But it's something to keep in mind to enhance your gameplay. And 
it actually does add to a lot, you know? Do you want to keep the auto attack like combo going for the auto attack damage, or do you always want to get off your arts as quick as possible in the optimal position? I kind of lean towards the latter, but there really is no wrong way to play the game. And God dang it, are you... Give me a sec. We started it, man. Uh, anyway, we finally made our way to this door. It's kind of important. Oh, God. <laughs> that actually kind of scared me. <laughs> so we got another opponent, and oh, crud. We actually got hit by all of those bubbles. No! The most threatening attack in all video games, but, uh... Now, another thing I'd like to make mention of is that every attack in Xenoblade is area of effects. And if you're brand new to role-playing games, don't worry about that terminology right now, but just know there's a giant dragon shooting fire right in front of you. It doesn't just hit one dude. It hits everybody. So you have to position yourself in battle accordingly. I'm kind of glad that's in the game. You know, it makes sense and kind of adds to, like, the realism of the world. You know, I know this is a fantasy game. There's not a ton of realism. That's not really what Xeno's all about. It's kind of like its own mix of things. And am I ever going to get the initiative on anything in this room? Holy crud. Okay, it took a bit, but, uh... I took my time, threw a stone at every single enemy in here, and then we tore him to pieces without mercy, but, you know, that's just how we roll. And holy crap, that's actually a really good chest. Don't want to miss out on that one. That was, like, easily 500 gold. I mean, gosh, at this rate, we don't even need Bana's money. <laughs> We're getting so much cash from inside this ship, but... No, seriously. Every time you see a chest, might as well do yourself a favor. Pick it up and fuel tank number two. Okay. I guess this is, like, their, uh, power source room. Makes sense to be at the very bottom of the ship. I'm pretty sure that's how it happens, or that's where they're placed in actual, you know, vessels or ships. But made our way to the system control room, and uh, huh, yeah, this room looks pretty important. I don't know, ether fuel chamber. Probably work with fuel. Okay, so now we know our next objective. We got to find some fuel for the fuel tank. Crazy. Uh oh, that one's level five. I do not want to deal with that. So. Let's throw the rock again. The ultimate weapon in all of Xenoblade. I swear, it's so useful just to throw a little rock. Not every single encounter you're going to need to do that, but if you want to be separate from something really scary, it's best to go with that. And I think I'm... Yeah, okay, if I move a little bit, we should be able to use double spinning edge. And nope, it actually moved. Well, it doesn't really matter. The battles are so easy at this point, it's hardly even a problem, but, uh... One other thing I kind of want to point out, which I guess I'll do on this next enemy over here, is that specific enemies okay, in Xenoblade 2 to have elemental down. weaknesses, and you know them straight off the bat, which is very refreshing for games that I play. So this King Crustnip, it has a fire icon right next to its name. If you have any fire arts, go ahead and use them. They're going to use bonus damage and, well... Elemental affinities are a little more complex than just doing extra damage, but we'll get into that a little bit. Oh, there we go, guys. I don't know about you, but using the directional attacks in Xenoblade games is just so stinking satisfying. And holy crud, we're really close to a level, aren't we? How about that? There's a cylinder uh, bank right over there. Don't worry, we'll be back for it in a bit. There's just another chest. I mean, I, you guys know me. I like treasure. And there's actually a friendship ring up here. Malos, do you want a friendship ring? Shut up, kid. Oh. Get back to work. Okay, sorry. But no, that's a pretty useful accessory, too. But uh, right over here is the ether cylinder that we need. And come to think of it, crud. We should probably show off um, Nia's abilities as well. She's a pretty cool character in my book. We're going to replace her with Jin because, I mean, Jin's cool, but he's not really doing anything too flashy. So I don't feel super bad about that. But uh, if we press the ZR button... You can actually see all the drivers and their blades, and, uh, yeah, Jin doesn't have one. Pretty peculiar, but then again, neither do I. I guess it's pretty impressive that he can, like, fight so well with that one. It's a new day, but, uh, everyone! Yeah, it actually turned to, like, day. Guess I took a little bit too much time killing all the enemies in here, but regardless, this very small puzzle has been completed. We found the ether cylinder, popped it in, but a bing Now we can go deeper inside the ship, and, uh, this was, this was real life, everyone would turn around because the light just appeared, but... Yep, all you gotta do is press A near the control panel, and now we can proceed to the deepest part of the ship. Not planning on letting us pass, huh? Sounds like a challenge.
All right, here we go against the Magalo Ali. Okay, then that's a great way to start off a battle. <laughs> Does anyone think it's just kind of funny? Like Malice is like, looks like a challenge. I don't think the shark has a conscious decision to not let us pass, but whatever. In this battle, we're gonna use our arts from behind the opponent. Since Malos has aggro on the foe, we can get behind it very easily and use our arts to their fullest effect. Sword Bash doing 278 right there, and then we can go to the side, use spinning side to- oh, that's not good. I got enraged. See that aura? It's rage state. If you ever played Monster Hunter, it's the same crap. Sometimes on beast foes, you get them to a certain HP threshold, they're gonna get mad. So you gotta be careful of that. Sometimes if you can, just burst them down. Mia's gonna heal us up and- Oh crud, Malos is- Jeez, that was a scary attack, but uh... No, realistically, as long as you do not do too much damage, Malos can easily take care of this thing by himself. And then some. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's Crest. Adam's Crest? What does that mean? You. Open this door. Me? This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? What are you talking about? Hurry up and do it! We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. What the hell? You can't treat hired hands like that. Now, how do we open this thing? Oh, hey! So that was a release toggle. Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door, too. Let's move. What, what is that thing? It's a girl. about touching that huh Jin! 
Let's ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros. This part still gives me goosebumps, gosh. I mean, <laughs> just look at it, dude. Like, I don't even have a joke for this part. This is just beautiful. And it's just something like, you know, that's just normal. Usually in Xenoblade, you see all this crazy stuff, but no, it's just a tree on a hill and girl next to it. Let's go see what's up. Excuse me. It's such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not. Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh. Where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago, mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... we were born. Get out! R really Is that a core crystal? You're a... blade? My name is Pyra. What? Oh, right. M mine is... I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait. I can't do anything if I'm dead. Titan's fucked. If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass. Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world. Atop the world tree that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. As my driver. As the driver of the Aegis. The driver? Of the Aegis? What, 
what the... What will you do, Rex? Is this place really your home? It is. And it really exists? Rex, I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Now place your hand on my chest. What? Are you sure? Near and them. End? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with, Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... of you just claim her power for yourself this is as far as it goes yeah Aegis over here just leave it out give it a rest Malos can't you see is just a child a child don't make me laugh this kid is yeah. himself the Aegis a driver <laughs> The Aegis is driver. Rex is. Uh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you are done. Uh. 
Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Everybody, go now! Quick! Yeah! Mallow, here! I don't think so. Hey, you can pull in. Over here! Yeah. Like you. Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. Dang, Malice is evil? No way, who could've saw that coming? <laughs> ANYWAYS! Let's now it's time to learn away. about Blade on Blade Combat! Rex is now the driver of the Aegis, which means it's time to learn about the affinity that a Blade and a Driver share. Throughout the fight, you're gonna see that a Blade and Driver are connected by this beam of light, and if you raise your affinity by hitting arts and staying close to your Blade, well, your affinity grows, and so does your damage output and the speed it takes to get your arts back. Now, this is something you shouldn't really have to worry about early on, but it'll come but it'll come in play a bit later. Something you'll learn about right now, though, are blade arts. At any point in a battle, a blade will automatically use a buff to help you out in battle. And I love this concept so much. But anyways, enough of that. Let's focus on taking down Malos and his own blade and this is what Xenoblade 2 was all about. There is nothing else like this ever. Like, just, god dang, I love this concept so much. There's just something cool about being backed up by a blade and, oh crap, here we go. Let's learn about the specials. Now, in X2, these are the strongest attacks and the best way of dealing damage, but they can only be unlocked after using arts enough times. They can go up to level three. We'll talk about that more later. And once you activate a special, you will have a button challenge you need to complete to deal the most damage possible. These attacks are seriously massive, and they can also lead to blade combos, but enough of that! Malice has gotta go down. So, we're gonna activate heat right after an auto attack landed, get the button combo, and now a blade combo has initiated. Meaning, once you do a special, there will be a bar at the top, and if you use another special, you can get a bonus effect if you keep it going. And for just this battle, they're automatically going to give us a second level two special, yeah. Just out of nowhere. Sorry, Malos. The tutorial gives me str <laughs> Anyways, though, this is a segment I absolutely love because depending on what you need out of the battle, either it's raw damage or the affinity to go down for a blade user, etc., you can do that by mixing and matching different attacks and just it's stinking awesome, guys. The affinity between us and Pyra is now gold! Which means... Malice won't have much... Oh crap, so is his, though. This might be a little... Dicey, oh gosh! No, I think we can do this. No, I know we can. Just a little bit more, and the battle's ours. End it, Pyra! Heck yeah. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. However... Don't get cocky, you little shit! Understood. What? 
Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child. Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! Shark for someone who's only just woken up. Kyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! to do. 